So I want to give you a taste of surgical empathy, okay? Yes. Right here in real time. So imagine, imagine yourself at a, and I'm not going to leave you there, DP. If I go in there, we're going to walk out. Yeah. But I want you to imagine yourself at a low point, and you're looking out at the world, and it's like your your eyes are just kind of lifeless, and you're just stuck. So here's an example of surgical empathy. If so, if someone were to say to you, DP, um, your eyes are telling me something. Would it be okay if I tell you what they're telling me? And you know, and you'll be like, okay. Yes. If I leaned in and said, what your eyes are telling me is, and you're screaming at me. Don't you get it? I can't go where you're at. Mm. Don't you get it? I can't move. Mm. Don't you get it? I'm not being stubborn. I'm stuck. Yes. And I'm running out of time. And you're going to have to come and get me. And if you think I'm being resistant to treatment, well, f you. I can't move. So can you relate to that when you're looking at me like this? Can you relate to that message that that's what you're telling me? Yes. Is that I have to come to you because you just can't move? Yes. Because what everyone else has done is try to give me this medication, take this to make the pain go away, but no one's pulling you out. It's like you're in a dream and you're screaming, and you just can't get out of it. You're literally in this bubble, and you can't breathe, and you're suffocating under everything that you've been exposed to, the traumas, whichever they may be, wherever they came from just completely detached to where the thought then becomes, wouldn't it be better if I wasn't around? What if that drive mark at 4.30 in the morning, I took that turn just a little bit harder? Would anybody notice? Would anybody care? And regardless of what people may think, that's where the voice now is starting to deafen to. Um, yeah.